I think there's three ambitions around today. You know, firstly, it's an opportunity for all the pioneer schools, uh, professional learning, curriculum pioneers and the digital pioneers, to gain an understanding of the roles that they've each played so far. I think secondly, it's about them then understanding where they go together. They are roles now going forward in the autumn term with relation to the bigger picture. And I think thirdly, it's that everybody needs to start thinking about their own parts and how that will converge into a single document which will make our curriculum for Wales. We aren't replicating something that has happened anywhere else in the world. This is genuine ground up, you know, delivery, genuine ground up driving and genuine ground up reform. And I think the fact that it's for teachers, by teachers, is the uniqueness around it, which then creates a sense of ownership and value with your individual practitioners and schools. And it's that that we need to keep capitalising on, the energy that we find from today and the implications of today need to be what we capture and take forward then as a cohesive unit across the whole of Wales. We've relied quite heavily on the lessons learned from around the world and gathering information and expertise and evidence. But quite rightly so, what we need to do is adopt and take upon board their lessons and make sure we adapt it for our own Welsh context. This is a Welsh curriculum, you know, designed and built by Welsh teachers for Welsh children and Welsh learners for a Welsh future. I think the real diversity of what we've got on offer across the sectors will be the challenge. And I think the key messages for us is that we need to ensure that everybody is receiving the communication and everybody understands again what their part in the bigger picture is. We wouldn't be where we are without the engagement of the regions. You know, they are the driving force behind all of this in the schools. Without Estin and Qualifications Wales on board, and you know, both learning from their intelligence gathering and from their expertise, but also being able to feed back in. So the real key thing for those outside the Pioneer Network will be the next stage of content development. But part of that content development stage will be the refining and the preparing and the testing in schools. And that can't be controlled and contained within the Pioneer Network. That needs to be all schools in Wales getting involved, taking ownership of this curriculum and really stepping up to be able to contribute to the wider process. And this is the time, this is the moment that we all have now that we need to realise our role in it and engage with this Pioneer Network to go forward. Well, the key messages from this very exciting day uh, is that we are at a crucial point in the development of the new curriculum for Wales. And we are looking at bringing together for the very first time all six of the areas of learning and experience sharing their learning together with each other, but also crucially pulling into that equation what's happening with professional learning across Wales, both in terms of areas of learning and also in terms of digital work. I think Wales has embarked on a very exciting way of developing a curriculum. Uh, we've put ourselves in a position whereby we are saying that this is not a matter of government sitting in Cardiff saying this is what you'll do, this is how you'll do it, this is when. We have talked to the profession and said, listen, you're delivering this curriculum, you're delivering this learning in classrooms for our learners right across Wales. And then you think about our external stakeholders in the system, people who aren't yet thoroughly and fully engaged with this whole process, be they learners in classrooms in many cases, schools who haven't been part of the latest developments, parents, governors, the whole community, employers out there who are going to benefit from this change in, 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 in times to come. We need to do a lot more work in terms of making sure we've engaged with them properly, communicated with them properly and learnt from what they've got to offer. Fundamentally, I want people thinking when they leave here that they are part of a great big team of people who are all together trying to get the new curriculum in Wales, exciting as it is, off the ground so we can get it into classrooms as soon as we possibly can. The Donaldson Report of 2015 energised the profession. We've got to make sure now that the process of creating the new curriculum and the learning experiences that go with that continues to energise the profession, recognising there will be difficult times, there will be challenging times, there will be uplifting times. But wherever we are, we know we are in this together. Government, regional consortia, schools, and we've got to deliver.